Good evening and welcome to the Reston Community Center Board of Governors monthly meeting starting now. First order of business is approval of the agenda. So moved. Second. Move to the second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Those opposed? Next order of business is approval of the September 14th, 2020 board minutes. So moved. Second. Um, uh, uh, discussion on uh, uh, page one, motion number two, approval of the uh, August 3 board minutes, not August 2, I believe. Yeah. Thank and that's for twice, that. that is twice, once yeah. in the uh, title and once in the text. I will fix it. Thank you. That's all. Okay. Then move and second and amended. All those in favor? Aye. Those opposed. Next order of business is the approval of the board actions of September 14th. So moved. Second. Then move and second. All those in favor. Aye. Those opposed? Next order of business is the chair's remarks. And uh, I want to say thank you for the shout out, Bill, when you sat in my seat for me last week. Uh, initially, I was supposed to be in quarantine until the 24th, and then it became the 3rd of October. There's a long time to be in the house. I may go running while well, I can. I don't, I don't run that well, but just screaming in the streets. Um, we had uh, a wonderful session yesterday um, after the showing of um, I Am Not Your Negro. And Bill Penneman said he watched just on the YouTube channel. Um, YouTube. First time I've no, ever it's, on, it's on the Facebook. Facebook. I mean the Facebook, Facebook right? I tried YouTube for a few on the Facebook page. Yeah. And the views are up to 180 views. Oh, that was a good discussion. That was really good. And so tonight, um, this is by Langston Hughes. It's called Justice. That justice is a blind goddess is a thing to which we black our lives. Her bandage hides two festering sores that once, perhaps, were ours. Next order of business is introduction of visitor. Nobody came, so there's no citizen input. Next order of business is um, the Finance Committee report from September 14th. We have the uh, report in here. We went through this uh, um, uh, orally at the last meeting. Uh, any questions that have come up since then? I don't want to go reading through it again. Any questions that have come up? The budget has been submitted. So uh, the, uh, the memoranda has been submitted mm -hmm. to the DMV. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Thank you. Mark, uh, but I move that we approve the uh, written me uh, minutes as presented. Second. Then moved and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. All right. Those opposed? <coughs> Next order of business is the board member input on activity attendance and the last email. Pause me. I mean, this is this is busy season, so we've got park bond going on. We've got uh, the equity panel for uh, Jeff McKay going on. We're in our second session with that. Our third, third session is this week, and it's actually pretty fascinating the, the cross section of people that are involved. There's 43 people on on the committee. Um, there's four committees. There's no supervisors or no no county. Uh, participation at all from the official county. Um, so it's all citizens and, uh, and shareholders. So it'll, it'll be very interesting. And we're due to, to uh, present a report to the Board of Supervisors in January, which means it will be done in 
it's separate. It's pretty, it's pretty intensive. We started with three hours. We've got another two and a half, three hour session every other week and then committee meetings in the weeks in between. So it's a, it's a pretty good effort. We've got some great, great, great people. Amanda is, is the committee chair of the, of the uh, committee I sit on. Um, Park Bond again, and then the equity discussions that we've had here, the second one. Yesterday was pretty fascinating. Mm -hmm. I'm not your Negro, and, and the discussion around that. We're looking forward to the next one. Uh, certainly the two films, um, the 13th and I'm not your Negro. Uh, good discussion with that boards, uh, as facilitated by Amanda. Um, so those have been very good, very worthwhile. And um, I just got back to the Sea Up Scramble that uh, RCP uh, helped out by sponsoring. And so it was good to see that. It was, it was very, uh, they were very appreciative, by the way. They, they said to one their, their thanks for the sponsorship. Because, um, you know, it's a little bit challenging for the, um, you know, sports teams and other groups at, at South Lake. So we're supporting the South Lake students. And, Community and it's uh, much deeper. I had a very quiet one. So. Um, so, I have a P and Z meeting where we heard about ZMOD and what's going on there. And, oh, not kidding, the, 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 the uh, county's um, master plan and planning generally says zoning. The uh, task force met last week, which is or the last, on the 14th, which is why I wasn't in attendance here. Uh, we had a presentation from the Park Authority and from FC Dot. Um, lots of questions, no decisions <coughs> in there. Um, I tried to vote today. The line was so long. <laughs> but I was outside, and I know from my wife's experience, it's just as long. It's longer inside, so I'll do it another day. And I, I watched the uh, discussion yesterday. I'd seen the movie before, but I watched the discussion on Facebook, and it, it was it was a very good discussion. You guys did a great job. I passed the government center at 5:45 on Friday, and the polls closed at 4:30, mm -hmm. and the line was still wrapped around the government center. Yeah, at almost six o'clock. I had a quiet month too, but uh, today I went to Southgate Community Center to drop off a box of children's books. And on Monday, they hand out books to kids um, from uh, outside the center. But you know, they, it's a handout day. So if any of you have children's books that you need to get rid of, it's a good place to take them. And uh, we immediately Used. Oh, thank you. I'll push that out to the staff as well. I have gone out hardly at all. I take my daily walks, and uh, that's about it. But I continue to watch the various items on YouTube with music. But I really enjoyed the concert of the bad uh, influence. Uh, it's been a long time since I've heard some blues music and all that, and I really enjoy it. That's another one. Um, I attended um, the two movies, and I totally enjoyed uh, being with colleagues, like their colleagues and friends, for the discussion afterwards. Um, it is so important when you deal with something very intense to be able to process that. And to hear from other people instead of just to walk away, or you're like moderating the music, and you moderate you're just wiped out to be able to discuss and so it was very uh, helpful. It was a great, great idea, and hats off to the Western Community Center for being a leader. I think this is something that needs to be done across the country and in a small place where it's not a safe environment where you can really actually talk and move this issue forward. Equity, justice for everybody is so important. So uh, I'm very proud to be a member of the board and the uh, rest of the number. So, uh, looking forward to more of that. Thank you, Vicki, for doing the shout out for uh, South Bay Community Center. If you guys can share, I'll try to get more information, but pay attention, they need so much. And talking about equity, 
people think, forget, even here in Reston, there's many children that are not in the same place that someone else who has four or five computers in the house or great Wi-Fi, food. You know, you figure about these, a lot of these kids that are two of their meals a day come from going to school. And even those handout centers that are still doing well, if mom and dad are working, there's two kids or even one kid at home, what do you do? You know, and it, it's very different. I mean, this hideous virus is really exposing the inequities in our society. And it looks like there's, we might, I don't want to lose a half a generation because they fall so far behind. We really have to step up. This is not, this is not fun. No, it's, it's, it's scary. It is really scary. So we have to talk about equity and education. We are going to have to make this happen. So that's it. So. Yeah, that's it. Yes, um, I'm Sharon Hall. Well, um, September is a, a busy month for the um, board because of the preference poll process, and that was successfully uh, run and concluded in uh, uh, last week on Friday. Um, participation was down, not surprising, given the pandemic situation, some 360 fewer ballots than uh, last year, but not surprising, far greater online balloting than we've seen in the recent past. And we'll have a full report for the November um, meeting. No, if you, as you recall, they do not become official until the supervisor has moved the appointments, which won't take place until October 20th. But you announced the results of the preference poll? No. We, we craft a uh, press release with Supervisor Alcorn's office, and then when the appointments are, are moved and approved at the Board of Supervisors, we'll release the press release that day. Um, we will be submitting a uh, FY21 mid-year budget um, assessment. This is new. Uh, obviously, the county is watching um, revenue and expenditure performance carefully. I don't expect that to provide any surprises. We will likely uh, be submitting basically the outline that we agreed to, which was uh, holding our spending to FY19 limits with the added consideration of the uh, salary increases that occurred in FY20, aquatics department staffing, and uh, the website development. Um, good news, Bill Penniman on the solar panels front. <laughs> <laughs> today, September 29th, Board of Supervisors meeting. They took up the board item on the 29th to advertise the public hearing, which they have to advertise for uh, leasing. And so the public hearing will occur on October 20th. And once that public hearing is finished, we will be able to proceed with the Segura solar lease and get these freaking panels on our roof. <laughs> so, so is the public hearing on just a contract? That the it's a lease, yeah. Oh, okay. And it's not just it's not approved. just our building. Yeah. No, the, the board item on the 29th was the authorization for a public hearing. And then the public hearing has to occur. <coughs> And then the county can enter into the lease uh, leasing arrangement with this company, yeah, yeah. and um, and that covers not just us, but there are four or five other uh, county facilities Good. that they'll start on. Great. And in the course of that, we uh, we found out that um, there was an error in the tax record for RCC Hunters Woods, 
They described our facility as a as a 1,200 square foot facility. <laughs> would have made it the most powerful solar panel installation in the county. But um, uh, fortunately, we we caught that, and uh, our friends at DTA were able to correct that. We sent them a photo image of the last. Um, plan document, official plan document. So if anybody wants to know, we've been saying forever it's a 50,000 square foot building. It's 49,850 square feet. This building. It's a lot. It's a lot more than 1,200 square feet. Um, that would be just this room. It must be this room, a little more than this room. Well, it's weird. It was um, it, it was an error because of uh, way back in, I think, the, the first aquatics renovation, there was some kind of the accessory unit that houses the outdoor equipment area that, that was added or something. And that's what was picked up in the tax record, not the whole building's uh, footprint. So. So they're going to come after us for back taxes. Well, we're, <laughs> we're tax exempt. So, good news on that front. Um, uh, the aquatics commissioning is ongoing and in the process of starting up and commissioning all these systems uh, with the engineers, they've discovered that the intersection of the the heating demand uh, for the warm water pool and the spa and the water flow rates uh, is likely going to create the necessity for an added pump, which the engineers are going to have to create a design for, and then we'll have to, it'll have to be purchased and installed. It's not going to be a massive undertaking, but it should correct some of the... What's happening is that some of the... Um, the pressures are, ne are tripping a bunch of valves, and so it's not functioning at its, uh, at its optimum levels all the way across the system. So. But they assure me this won't take more than a month. We shall see. And we won't have to stop operating, so it's all, all good. Uh, theater seating replacement project is ongoing. Um, the, the seats are gone, the carpet's gone, the cement work troughs have been dug for the assistive listening um, and electrical service to the IOLITES configuration. So we hope that that will be finished up by the end of October. Um, and then there are a bunch of other projects going on. And you all get the, on Tuesday and Friday, the program performance. Program performance across the board has been um, remarkably steady. And, uh, and the positivity rate in Fairfax uh, continues to be now below 5% for the third week uh, in a row, pretty much. So I remain hopeful that we can stay in a functional capacity um, uh, this is that's all right. This is your. This is part of the board. <laughs> <laughs> so we're in pretty good shape for the shape we're in, and uh, even though there are not very many in-person meetings happening in the world, there's certainly a lot of uh, internet platform meetings. Our staff has been attending. Um, the Virginia Recreation and Park Society conference this week. There are three hours of webinars each day through the course of the week. And been very uh, interesting topics and information. So. Still busy. Thank you. Next order of business is any old business. Just any old business. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
We're going to knock them in here. Oh, yes. Sure. They have accepted. Yes. Thank you. Uh, and look at the reminders. Explain Hunter's Woods cleanup day. Oh, the Hunter's Woods cleanup day is the, uh, the police, the rest and substation. Um, in lieu of doing, you know, October is Public Safety Month, it's also Hispanic Heritage Month, there's lots of things going on in October. Um, but Katie Defoe, the community relations officer at the Reston Station, thought that organizing a cleanup activity on Saturday the 17th with the different um, constituent partners of the Hunters Woods Neighborhood Coalition from 11 to 1 would be a good alternative to the typical national night out activity that we normally used to do in August. They're trying to reschedule these national night out events in neighborhoods in October. So uh, that activity is going to occur on Saturday the 17th at 11. Um, it should be it, they did it last year. It was very successful. Uh, RA is going to supply all the, the um, uh, trash bags and the pickers and uh, gloves, I think. So uh, if you're not doing anything midday on the 17th and it's nice weather, um, <coughs> pick up trash. <laughs> um, the CAPR hearing is our official accreditation hearing. Bless you. Um, Beverly and I are required to attend that and presumably we'll get a Zoom link. I've sent a message asking if there's a way that we can share the hearing because we'll, we, if we can, we can set it up for a, uh, less, um, a Zoom platform so our staff can watch it, but we'll see what they say about that. Um, but it's at 11.30 on the morning of October 19th. Um, and then we have we, sh we said we would have a finance committee meeting monthly while we're in this um, COVID posture. So that would be on October 19th. And then on the 24th, um, those are the two family Halloween activities. The blue at the pool is a uh, capacity controlled indoor event for kids. They come in, they dodge, they get a good eat, they get out. <laughs> and the, the Halloween event, you know, in years past we've had a big party and all that kind of stuff, but this is going to be a, um, a car parade around the perimeter of the Hunters Woods parking lot. We expect probably there will be families walking up as well with kids costume and we'll just do a uh, on-site contact tracing form for those participants and uh, cars are pre-registered so it's not the same but it's not nothing tell me about the contact tracing the families that walk up so we you know everything now is um, there's no way for a person to participate in an activity with RCC without us capturing the time, the location of the activity, and the person's name and <coughs> contact information. But for events, if you don't have pre-registration participants, uh, we don't want to turn them away. So we've created, I don't know if you've been to any restaurants, but most of the jurisdictions locally have these. It's called a contact tracing form, and it basically requires the person's name, the date, the time, and their email address and phone number. And so you collect that, and we're, we're going to have these pads out in the, um, in the gallery at the can, and uh, and for anyone who we observe that stays here as a drop-in person in the lobby for longer than 15 minutes, just so that, you know, if there is a, a report of, uh, of COVID positive results, and, it's, and the person says, I went to the Halloween thing at mm -hmm. the community center, we will have the contact tracing 
information for the health department to try to reach out to people who were here at the same time on the same day. That's great. That's an understatement. Have there been any positive uh, COVID-19 positive tests on staff or people? Uh, well, that's HIPAA-protected information. Okay. Um, there's, there's been nothing dangerous that's happened at RCC. And, uh, and um, we've had no uh, patron reports. So we're in a very highly um, controlled environment here with a lot of safety precautions. And the county is about to launch a uh, health uh, self-check-in for all county employees so that uh, you'll, put, you'll load up an app on something phone or tablet or whatever and before you report to work you'll have to check in on this app and just basically assert that you have no COVID symptoms and you're okay to work. Have you, have you considered offering your contract tracing services to the White House? <laughs> 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 no. You haven't done it though. Um, there's a there's an app for the state of the yeah. Commonwealth called COVID Wise. Yeah. Download it. It is helpful. It gives you a report every week. Yeah, every yeah. week you get a report yeah. if you come up with. TV. And if you've been in contact with somebody in who's in Virginia and is reported to be COVID positive, okay. you'll get an alert, yeah. and then you'll be able to to report in. And they'll give you more information about it. It's a free one. It's a COVID-wise. That's why I asked it. And what is it? Is this just one of those things that registers other people's phones and talk to you? It'll let you use Bluetooth. Bluetooth. Yeah. So okay. if, if you're COVID positive and we stand next to each other for longer than 15 minutes and uh, and I'm on the COVID-wise app and you report to the, and your, your COVID positive results are reported to the Virginia Department of Health, which they have to be if you got a test, um, that the Virginia Department of Health will put that information into the COVID-wise database and then based on Bluetooth records, anybody who was near you that you didn't already tell them about or that has the COVID-wise app would get an alert. It's not perfect, but uh, Virginia was the first state to deploy this. Other states have some similar products, and uh, given how hard contact tracing yeah. is, it's a it's a useful tool. Is there any uh, numbers about how many people have downloaded the app? Because it only works. Right. I, I honestly I don't know. I know they pushed it out with a lot of uh, marketing and, and uh, they well, I haven't done it yet, but I will You can find out. I know a lot of people have it here. Tech first people have this just because you know it's a it's a well it's smart to have it, but it's also it's a safety thing. Just if you're going someplace you're like that to self quarantine if you've been disclosed like you're supposed to do for fourteen days. And the this, that's Sorry, that's this is real to me. This is real to me. Yeah. yeah, okay. All right. <laughs> so, right. Not, so oh, you download. I think you'll like it. It's very helpful. Yeah. It's been moved a second. This is over. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.